My name is Alan Coronabush. I own a business called AKE Safety Equipment. I'm also the visionary on the team. So you want me to make a video that talks about how our core values tie into the culture and it's given to the people by the leadership team well. This room is the perfect setting for this because this is approximately a 35 foot square room. This is our indoctrination, I mean our Kool-Aid, uh, this is our recruitment room. <laughs> so every single new person on our team from the 50 plus sales reps that we have at any given time out in the field from Washington State down to Florida and everywhere in between, anywhere where there's agriculturally productive areas because it's stop fire every farm in America, to the 20 to 25 employees that we have here at HQ. I tell everybody, they sit at this table and they have a conversation with me, the CEO and the visionary, so that they thoroughly understand the core values are the center of our onion. All people and processes and everything else are added as layers around the center of that onion. Our core values are the filter by which we make big decisions. Our core values are our DNA. I also describe that running a business a lot of times is like you're in a car doing 100 miles an hour at night, the headlights go out and you've got thick fog and there's a sheer cliff on either side of the road and you're expected to keep that car on the road. You need some guiding principles. Our guiding principles are right up here, our core values, and I'm going to go through them with you, but I wanted to set that stage for you so you thoroughly understand the core values are not only part of our culture, they are really our culture, because what it does is it repels people who are not like-minded, it attracts people who are like-minded and retains them, and if we happen to make a bad hire, they self-terminate within a relatively short period of time because they realize they're not in line with it. Here we go. Our first core value, just get it done. Underneath it, we've got some bullets. The first one is no excuses. No excuses. Excuses are like um, uh, that part of your keister and everybody's got one and they all stink. It's a video, so I use gentle words. Find a way, be resourceful. The team is counting on you and you is all cap. It's very important because we want people to know not just that they can count on the team, but the team must be able to count on them. There's a plus underneath it. It could be a plus. It could be a plus, minus, or a minus. And we tell people sitting here, everybody who works here, all of our vendors, all of our dealers, our wholesale must be in line with our core values. Otherwise, we will stop doing business with them. Do right. First bullet, with the right attitude. You might have experienced it yourself. I know I have. You go to a business, they ultimately do right, but they just do it begrudgingly. You knew that they didn't want to. So we strive to do right with the right attitude. Next is success is compounded choices. You make more good choices than bad, you're probably going to have a good life. Making the right decisions even when no one else is looking, and you got to have a plus there. Build lasting relationships. It's in line with a biblical concept, principle, follow the golden rule. Every touch is an opportunity to strengthen each relationship, partnering with people who share the same core values. At the end of the day, business is nothing more than effective people relations, so you must be plus and in line with that. Next, improve obsessively. Product, processes, ourselves. So I like to tell people when they're sitting here, if you're not one of those kinds of folks that is always reading a new book, you're always watching another YouTube video, you're doing Bible study, something to better yourself, if that's not you, we will drive you crazy because we are constantly improving obsessively. Always striving to exceed expectations. Never satisfied, keep moving forward. It's a plus, you must be in line with that. And last but not least, be thankful. Being thankful, very, very important. Appreciating it all. You must be able to appreciate both the good as well as the bad because oftentimes you learn most from the bad. Con consistently doing your part to give back, not just to the company, but to your own family as well as to your local community. That's a big deal here. And lastly, all positions in life are temporary, both good and bad. It is both a word of encouragement to the poor as well as caution to the rich. Helps us remember where we came from and how far we've come so that we don't go back there. Plus minus center that we seek to not be a judgmental company and we understand that not everybody shows thankfulness exactly the same way. So in full circle, core values are the center of our onion and the filter by which we make big decisions. It is our culture and it helps us attract the right people and keep them and repel the ones that are not right. And that's us.